Welcome back. I figured we'd do something a little differently today. So let's do a current household video. I think that'll be fun for us. We're here in Newcrest and um, I guess, I don't know if I can call it a current household because there's more than one household, but uh, it's all one family. So it is the Goldman family and there are two parents and four kids, some of whom have started their lives. Um, this house is under construction currently, <laughs> so don't look at that. Um, but yeah, I figured we would take a little look-see. I'm really having a lot of fun with this family, so I figured that I wanted to share it with you. And, you know, maybe later, once it's more established, we'll uh, play in it more. Like, this is one of the... Sometimes I start households as, like, doing a backstory for future videos that I want to share and this is one of them where I I kind of had an idea maybe when the parents are grandparents we would you know have a little short let's play about who gets the inheritance or something so this is a backstory video to a potential later video depending on you know how often I work on it you might have to wait a while for that but let's go into the main household right now which has our parents and two of the kids who are still teenagers and haven't yet moved out. Okay, so here we are. Thanks, game, for putting me right there. Um, let me actually show you this house because this is probably one of my favorite houses that I've ever made. It is dark. Okay, let's make it a little brighter. But yes, this is one of my favorite houses that I've ever made. I mean, look at this thing. It is a mansion, obviously. Some money trees out front. And I'll give you a quick little tour, just because I'm so proud of it. <laughs> Let's go down. So you walk in. I don't know how to... Okay, so you walk in. You can see there's some family photos and stuff here. Um, there's dad. We'll, we'll go into a deeper thing about all of the sims in just a second. There's mom. Let me get rid of that. I'm going to be really bad at this tour thing. <laughs> uh, here is the like skill building room, which leads out to the backyard, which has a grill, a seating area, just, you know, a pool, a hot tub, etc., etc. So on this side, we have our dining room. Oh, who is upset? Excuse me. Celebrity level lost. Okay, anyway, I don't care about that. Um, here's the dining room, and it leads into the kitchen, which has a bathroom and a laundry room off of it. Yes, we are playing with laundry. And then the home gym. On the other side, we have a like living room and an office. You can see all of my children have gotten their scouting trophies. <laughs> I am really proud of that. Little pictures of my my sweet children. Um, there's a Thorn Bailey autograph. Anyway, we'll come we'll come back to that. That's part of the backstory. Then if you go through this way, we have the master suite and the master bath. If we go upstairs, we have a nursery. And okay, the upstairs floor plan is not great because you have to walk through rooms to get to other rooms. But here's a bedroom, two bedrooms bathroom, spa, bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, kind of like bunk room, children's room, because it has all the stuff that they needed to do their childhood aspirations. So that is the house. As for the family, we have the father here, Quentin Goldman. Now he and his wife, Prisha, started out this legacy. And um, actually, they had different aspirations to start with. I'm trying to remember what it was, though. What did I start him with? It might have been Fortune. Yeah, Fabulously Wealthy. Yeah. Okay, so he had the Fabulously Wealthy. Whoops. <laughs> I just changed. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, but he already completed Big Happy Family, too, so it's not really a big deal. Um, anyway. So he is a judge and he makes a lot of money as a judge but we did get some money trees just to be able to build this mansion in such a short amount of time but um 
he maxed his dancing because all my sims seem to dance when I don't want them to. He actually also maxed his mischief, which was surprising to me because he did that totally on his own. I didn't make him do that. Level 10 parenting, level 10 research and debate. So he's in a pretty good situation. I think he has pretty high logic skill too. Yes, has seven. So that's that. And then for relationships, uh, basically him and Prisha moved here and um, they didn't really know anybody, but they kind of rose through the celebrity ranks pretty quickly. He was pretty good friends with Thorne Bailey. Looks like their relationship has suffered a little bit lately, but, um, you know, him and Thorne Bailey were sort of friendly because they were both in the same celebrity circles. He, oh my gosh, he's, he's becoming an elder today. <laughs> Is his birthday today? Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize that. And then Prisha's birthday is on Thursday. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I guess we should bake him a cake. <laughs> but he's a snob, family-oriented, ambitious. And then, you know, we got some different things for him because, um, you know, I was playing. This is on long lifespan, so I had plenty of time to get them some different things. And he's hungry. I'm sorry that you're hungry. You know what? Let's switch over to Prisha and have her bake a birthday cake. Boop. Do, do, do. Yep, it takes forever to load. So anyway, Prisha is his wife. She stayed home with the children. They had children like pretty early on. Um even though they weren't necessarily financially equipped for it yet, but they did have children early. And then um, she did, wrote books from home and became a best-selling author of children's books. So she became a celebrity in that right. But ever since the children really got older and they got really settled with money and everything, she took a backseat to that. She's, you know, she's, um, She's like, okay, I did my thing. I want to relax now. <laughs> so good for her. She, I think she did the best-selling author aspiration. Yeah. And then um, she's done a couple of family aspirations as well. And yeah, she's an author. She got to level 10 cooking, dancing, handiness, pa parenting, and writing. Actually, she did all of the fixing up things around the house and... Why did you come into the bathroom to do this? Um, <laughs> so she did a lot of that stuff around the house, and uh, she has upgraded every single appliance in this household. I think the beds, too. Did I do the beds? Did I upgrade? Yeah. And the beds. So everything is in really good shape. She is a master of all trades. And she is pretty close with her children. She's close with all of her children. And I think, yeah, family-oriented, romantic, neat. She's, yeah, she's in a good position. She's great. She's still um, a minor celebrity from everything that she's done, but um, I've been letting that fade. Like, they're, they're not really, you know, they're getting, they're both going to be elders. They're not really that interested in that anymore. So I really like them both. I think that they're both great. I think that they're a great couple. They are kind of those people that you're like, they are so perfect, they can't be real. So, of course, their children are hot messes. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's invite over. I know it's pretty early, but let's invite over our family club. We'll add birthday candles to the cake and have our hubby blow out the candles. Can we get everybody to come here? Come on. Do, do, do. Everybody gather round. I can't believe he's becoming an elder. Okay, literally nobody came. Anyway. Oh, here they are. Here they are. So you can see some of the other family members like who have married into the family. But uh, we'll, we'll come back to them in a second. But let's have him blow out the candles. You can do it. There we go. I can't believe he's an elder. Yep. Things are moving along. 
Yay, everybody's happy. Okay, congratulations, Quentin, you've aged up. Now everybody take a piece together. Okay, so let's move on to the first two children have both moved out, so we'll come back to them. We'll go to their households and see them. But um, the third child, who is Naira, she is actually into painting and arts. So she is working on the painter extraordinaire aspiration while still going to school, of course. And um, she has level 10 painting, level 7 video gaming. <laughs> And, um, ooh, she has a little kind of on again, off again thing with Orange Bailey Moon, who actually is already on his like second or third wife, but they have a little fling, you know? So, um, she met him through her parents knowing Thorn Bailey. So, um, that is quite the scandal. I think she's hoping she can be wife number four. <laughs> Uh, she is an art lover, she's creative, and, you know, we got all the childhood things done, so that was good. She is, you know, still a teenager. She's still a little ways off from becoming an, a young adult, but when she does that, she'll probably join the painting career and see if she can't get Orange to break up with his wife and marry her instead. <laughs> so, why are you mad? Okay. Everyone's having a good time here. Did you have the same hairstyle as her? When did that happen? Anyway, um, the youngest child over here is Jaden. He is a genius and he is gloomy. He is really into robotics and stuff. He wants to go to university. You can see this is his room. He's very excited about going to university and doing like an engineering degree. So that is what is in store for him in the future. We can see we got the academic aspiration. Again, he can't enroll yet because he's still a teenager. He has a bunch of random skills. Violin, robotics, mischief. Yeah, the kids are pretty mischievous. Um, Jaden actually does not get along with his older brother, Garage. And he is currently dating Gabrielle Goth. So the Goth household has, uh, you know, made its entrance. So that is what's going on with him. Do, do, do. Everybody is getting kind of tired. Let's end the gathering so that the others can go home. And then we'll go over to their households. But yes, this is our household. Basically, um... I don't think that Quinton is the type of guy to retire. I don't think he'll ever retire. He, he just goes to work a couple days a week. And um, Prisha, she doesn't go to work, but she does literally everything around the house. Like, it's... Let me just go like this. She is a superstar. Oh, wait. Can we publish something? What is this? Huh. Um, yeah, occasionally she still writes books, but not really. So... Every morning we get up, we sell our money fruits, then we go upstairs because we have uh, the composting toilets and we do not want them to catch fire. So we go upstairs, we go around to all our toilets and compost in the insect farm. It it's, takes all day, all this stuff. <laughs> compost in insect farm. And compost in insect farm. I think that's the last one that does that. Yeah. So we do that. We take care of the insects. Collect the biofuel. Feed. It's nurture too while we're at it. Oh. If you could just finish an action here so that I can queue this up for you. Yeah. So nurture. And then uh, usually I have to send someone else because it takes like all day. We go around and we look in all the hampers. Actually, I heard that I might not need so many hampers. <laughs> I thought I needed one in every room that they change in, but um, I don't know. It's kind of annoying because the maid comes and only empties one hamper and then starts the machine. I'm like, you could go around and do this for all of them. It doesn't look like since the last time I played, we need to do laundry. But um, if there was laundry, we would queue up emptying all the hampers and then starting 
the laundry. Here are laundry machines. We also have a clothesline if we need it. Um, we have uh, Naira and Jaden are actually really good friends, so there's that. They're brother and sister. I don't know why my game puts like an empty romance bar for them. It's weird, and I've tried to get rid of it, and I can't. So we're going to pretend that's not happening. So uh, yeah, that is this household. That is the main household. We can look at the family tree here. You can see here are the two kids that are living with us, and here's uh, the parents, and then we'll go visit the other two brothers as soon as Prisha is done with her her insect farms. Yes, please leave. Thank you. I want you to be at home. What do you mean, no? <laughs> and if we get biofuel, we can also um, do this. You know, refill H2O siphoner. Sometimes I'll do that for all of their appliances. So yeah, all of this takes a pretty long time. Okay, Prisha, fine. Um, so let's go check out our children our oldest two children who have moved out. I think Jaden will probably live with them until he finishes college and then maybe, you know, marry uh, Gabrielle and move out. That'll be good for him. Okay, so the first, I'm pretty sure, nope, okay. The, f the oldest son, um, Bar Rowan, sorry, Baraj is the second son. The oldest son, Rowan, he is at home with his two children. He married, I think her name is Gwendolyn actually. Why does everybody's name start with G? Um, Gwendolyn Landgrab. So, you know, I, I'm taking all the famous families into my family, <laughs> but I just feel like, you know, they're super wealthy, the Goldmans and the Landgrabs are also really wealthy. So it's kind of like one of those things where, you know, Rowan, wanted to marry someone of a similar status, which is BS, but you know, he thinks that. He's not a very likable person. <laughs> my oldest two sons are really where the mess is at. <laughs> my younger children are okay. I mean, um, Naira needs to not go after a married man, but um, Jaden is a cinnamon roll. So our two oldest boys are where the trouble's at. And they're already starting their lives, which is great. So keep in mind, when he moved out of his parents' house, he got like 500,000 simoleons and then um, a money tree. <laughs> so they are not hurting. This is their house. Now I also built this. I like it, but I at first I was making it too big, so I made it smaller, but then I feel like making it smaller kind of messed up some of it. I don't know. But anyway, you come in and you have this fancy foyer with... Um, a little sitting room, library area, there's the laundry. Here's like a galley kitchen, which is the only part where I'm like, I don't know if that really rolls with what they've got. Bathroom, dining room, office, very like movie room, <laughs> another bathroom. And then upstairs we have um, the nursery and two like kids rooms, which our children are both toddlers still, so it doesn't really matter. The master with the master bath and a little skill area. So our man is Rowan here and he is self-assured, jealous, and evil. So he's, he's interesting. Uh, he married Gwendolyn and um, they're both pretty evil. She's evil, self-absorbed, and hates children. She's got two of them. Um, she wants to be fabulously wealthy and he wants to be a public enemy. So he, I think they're both working on the criminal career. Yeah, so they're both working on the criminal career. They are like not great people. Uh, basically, it's him who married into the land grab family with their criminal enterprises and he loves it. He is also not very well liked. Um, When did he... Honestly, I totally forgot he had a thing with Lakshmi. Okay. Um, yeah, he has a lot of enemies. Nobody, Not, not a lot of people like him. <laughs> um, she's a little better at hiding it. 
they have two children. They have Percival and they have Anastasia. Again, I it's Landgrab Dash Goldman, but I couldn't fit it all in there. Um, so that's their two children. They are currently working on the their criminal enterprises and they want to get all the family money. Like they are planning to inherit all of the family assets and if you know what they're not it's not all left to them they'll do something sneaky to get it is basically what's going on um he is smitten for her i mean he's jealous he like he is obsessed with his wife which is you know how it should be anyway <laughs> so that is that family i don't know why you're way over here like go home anyway let's go check on our second oldest brother Viraj so he is also messy he lives over here in this house he has two kids too oh he has twins I forgot <laughs> it's actually been a while since I played this save um, I wanted to get back into it it's been like two weeks or something so but anyway I am really enjoying the drama of their family and putting together their lives and kind of spreading them out as they, you know, grow up and move out. So that is a lot of fun for me. And I'm I'm excited to see where it goes. I think that there is a potential for a lot of drama as the parents get older. So I'll probably share that with you guys. But I figured, you know, I I just can't keep things to myself, you know? I'm like, oh I gotta show you guys. What I'm working on <laughs> so here it is okay here we are oh something's been removed okay okay um here is their house there's a tree right there which is super annoying because the house looks great um let's see we have you walk right in and um oh i didn't finish their house <laughs> I didn't remember that I didn't finish their house. I started building the other one. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, their house is not finished. Um, here's the dining room, the kitchen. There's a bathroom that's not furnished yet. Yep, nothing is ready. There's supposed to be an office. This looks like it'll be in the living room. <laughs> that's in a chair in front of them. <laughs> There's the master bedroom, which will have a closet and a bathroom. And then downstairs, there's a pool. And I'm guessing, yeah, we're going to figure out some sort of bedroom floor plan. <laughs> I totally forgot. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, okay, well, I forgot about all of this. So we need to furnish their house at some point. I haven't really been playing in their house very much uh, just to make them married and have babies. So, um Anyway, here is our oldest son, no, our our second oldest son, Viraj, and he has the serial romantic aspiration, which you know is a problem because he's married to his wife. Um, yeah, he's he's got it going on with a lot of people. So there's that. He is romantic, mean, and self-absorbed, which totally makes sense because he's, uh, you know, stepping out on his wife. Not cool. Uh, his wife is Lakshmi. And, oh, it's her birthday, too. Oh, my gosh. She's a teenager. Okay, well, she had teen pregnancy. That's probably, I think that's why they got married. Yeah, they got pregnant, and they were like, uh-oh. <laughs> so she's um, erratic, domestic, and good. Domestic is not her trait. Her trait, that's because she's a super parent. She uh, is also a mermaid, so that's why we have a little pool inside there. And uh, yeah, she is, I think she's probably having a hard time because she had to get married young because she got pregnant and um, she is having trouble with her husband just doing whatever he wants without a care for anybody else. She um, is a high school student, so she doesn't have a job. And he does not have a job because he was like, oh, I'll just live off my parents' money. And, um, you know, they got a money tree. Where did I put the money tree? Is it out back? Yeah, there it is. So he's like, oh, we got a money tree for my parents. We're all set. I don't have to work. I don't want to work. He's he's kind of um, entitled and spoiled. So that is the deal with him. He is not husband material or father material, but he comes around to the house every once in a while to ask his parents for money. 
that is the kind of guy he is. And his house is not done. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay, so that is pretty much the whole family. Yep. So we have our parents, the four kids, two of them have moved on to have children of their own. When Naira gets older, she'll also, you know, move out and do stuff. But uh, so will Jaden. I think he'll be the only one to go to college and try to work really hard. I think Naira wants to be like this famous painter and she thinks she's going to be with this big celebrity. So that's kind of what's going on in her head. And yeah. Oh, I forgot to say their names are... Kaipo and Malia, I guess. I don't even remember naming these kids. Wow. Um, so yeah, that is what's going on in this family. Uh, we will be seeing more of them, definitely. I am excited to show you more about their lives in the future. I'm thinking, like I wanted to do a Let's Play when um, each of them has like an established family and the parents are getting close to dying and all the kids are kind of vying for inheritance and money and, uh, you know, a, a patriarchal or matriarchal position within the household. So you can see kind of each of them has a negative quality that would prevent that. So like Rowan is, you know, evil. He's a criminal, which is interesting because his father's a judge. And then we have Viraj who just sleeps around and doesn't care about anything. We have Naira who just wants to be famous. And we have Jaden who actually isn't really interested in anything but like tinkering and keeping to himself. So they all have a reason why they shouldn't inherit everything. And I think that that makes for an interesting plot line. So that is what's going on there. You have queued up a lot of stuff. Just don't get her pregnant again. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that is what's going on with this family. I am really excited to show you more of them and I do have a couple of houses I have to build. That that house that I'm starting to build over here is for Naira when she um, when she grows up. Yeah, it's not it's not even close to done. But I've been working on it. So that is all I have to say about that. I'm really excited to continue to show you more from them and I will catch you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this.